When you compare the Department of Defense's budget to other defense budgets worldwide, you'll shockingly realize that America spends twice as much as the next 10 military powers combined. This year alone, the United States splashed a mind-blowing $800 billion on the military, dwarfing China's budget which comes second at only $300 billion. With such astronomical spending on defense, it's no surprise that the US operates some of the most expensive military equipment on land, air, and sea. Join me today as we take a look at five of the most cutting-edge weapons of technology that make the United States the dominant military power on Earth. In fact, only one of these weapons is not manufactured in the US, and surprisingly, that country is neither China nor Russia. Number 5. The F-35 Lightning II, the most expensive fighter jet. At a jaw-dropping $130 million per unit, the F-35 Lightning II is the most expensive fighter jet in the world today. Designed by aeronautics company Lockheed Martin, its versatility makes it a desirable military vehicle among NATO allies. The F-35 was released in 2015 after spending 15 years in development. It has a predicted lifespan of about 55 years, making it one of the best military workhorses in the industry. The F-35 comes in three models. The F-35A, which is used for standard takeoff and landing procedures. The F-35B, used for short takeoff and vertical landings. And the F-35C, used for takeoff and landing suitable for use on an aircraft carrier in the sea. With a length of 50 feet and a height of 14 feet and a 35-foot wingspan, the F-35 is arguably the most intimidating fighter jet in the world. It can clock speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour, which is nearly twice the speed of sound. And to make matters worse for enemy fleets, it has a combat radius of 833 kilometers. Yikes! You're not getting away that easy. But what about its arsenal? Well, unlike previous fighter jets, the F-35 is one of the first fighter jets to carry its weapons internally. This is revolutionary because it reduces drag on the plane, making the jet lighter and faster. With a 25mm cannon and two bays for air missiles, it can fire continuous rounds with absolute lethalness. But that's not all. It also has two other bays that drop bombs weighing as much as 450 kilograms. So, if you are hypothetically the enemy, and you see this baby circling above your camp, just know it's curtains for you. Curtains. Number 4. The Trident II Missile – The Most Expensive Missile in the World The most lethal missile in the world is the Trident II, a weapon system that's co-owned by the United States and British Navy. Interestingly, it has never been used before. And hopefully, our world leaders can keep it that way. Trident II is classified as an SLBM, or Submarine Launched Ballistic Missile. This simply means that the missile is launched from a submarine at sea and guided towards its intended target. But here's the terrifying part. If a Trident II missile locks onto an enemy's base, they'll be decimated within seconds. That's because the Trident II moves at a jaw-dropping speed of 13,000 miles an hour, armed with some of the most potent nuclear warheads on the planet. One launch of a Trident II towards an enemy base, and the after-effects of the weapon will hauntingly make Hiroshima and Nagasaki look like child's play. The United States and the UK Navy have spent a combined $53.2 billion on the missile system to date. It measures 44 feet and weighs 80 tons. The missile is essentially a three-stage rocket that has a range of up to 4,600 miles. Launching takes place below the surface by igniting an explosive charge that ejects the missile at breakneck speed. Number 3. The Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle the most expensive tank ever built. In 2008, America turned its attention to the Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle, or EFV, after presidential candidate John McCain mentioned it in one of his speeches. The military vehicle was expected to be the first amphibious assault vehicle capable of operating both on land and at sea. 
But there was a lot of controversy surrounding this vehicle, with critics saying that the project was wasting billions of taxpayers' dollars. The vehicle was manufactured by General Dynamics and designed for the U.S. Marine Corps. It was to be deployed at sea and then transport Marine squads to the shore, where they could then use it as a fully operational tank. But by 2010, the Marine Corps had spent a jaw-dropping $3 billion on the development stage of the vehicle alone, and with little to no progress to show for it. A crippling housing crash and criticism from the public made the Marine Corps axe the EFV on January 6, 2011. Ironically, the EFV became the world's most expensive military vehicle on land that was never used. In fact, Tanks seem to be America's biggest weakness, because despite spending big on military tanks, the title of the most expensive and arguably the best military tank goes to Number 2. The AMX-56 Leclerc – The Most Expensive Functionable Battle Tank this third-generation French battle tank was manufactured by Nexter Systems, specifically for the French, Jordanian, and the United Arab Emirates armies. The production of the tank began in 1991, with the first units deployed to the French army by 1992. Currently, the French army has about 406 Leclercs with the UAE possessing 388 units and the rest being held by the Jordanian army. In total, there have been about 800 Leclercs delivered since production. With a hefty price tag of $9.3 million per unit, the AMX-56 is the most expensive military tank in the world. Granted, it might not be as efficient as South Korea's K2 Black Panther, but its hefty price tag comes from the tank's agile mobility, high-tech systems, and powerful weaponry. The tank's exterior is made of titanium, making the vehicle fairly light and swift. As for weaponry, it utilizes the GIOT CN120-2652 120mm tank gun that can fire an impressive 40 rounds. The inclusion of a 12.7mm coaxial M2HB machine gun and a 7.62mm machine gun make the Leclerc an efficient military attack vehicle, with over 4,000 rounds shared between the two machine guns. And finally, the CVN-78 class aircraft carrier the most expensive military vehicle in the world. At a staggering price of $9.8 billion per unit, the CVN-70 class aircraft carrier is the world's most expensive military weapon in existence. And just to put into perspective how expensive this vehicle is, it's nearly three times the GDP of Liberia, which stands at slightly over $3.45 Mind you, Liberia is an entire nation in West Africa with a population of 5 million people. But the CVN-78's hefty price tag also means that there are only a handful of carriers in operation, about $34 billion worth to be exact. This behemoth of a ship has over four and a half acres of space and weighs hundreds of thousands of tons. It can hold up to 75 aircrafts in one go and can be deployed thousands of miles from land. The most recent carriers have also been equipped with Sea Sparrow missiles to improve their self-defense in case of an unexpected submarine attack. Now that's a whole lot of firepower, but at a staggering $9.8 billion per unit, only a few world powers have the financial muscle to add this weapon to their military. And I'll let you make the guess on who that might be. So, what do you think? Do these military price tags surprise you? And do you think the government spends too much on military or not enough? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Now, if you don't mind me, I think I'm going to play a bit of Call of Duty. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.